Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Fannie Willis is under fire from the black community now that people have found out how she treated one of her own. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So, District Attorney Fannie Willis, she's not in the business of making friends. She's a district attorney. She's a prosecutor. It's not her job to make friends. But is it her job to make enemies? Is it her job to get people to despise her? Well, she's working hard towards that goal, and I gotta tell you, she's doing a really good job. See, of all the 19 people that were prosecuted, indicted, booked, had their mugshots taken by Fannie Willis, I should say, shouldn't say prosecuted, they haven't been prosecuted yet, but they've been booked, they've had their mugshots taken, you know, they had to have the whole parade of all the people, one person remains in jail. And it just so happens that the one person who remains behind bars happens to be a black man, a former Marine. A former Marine, folks. That's the flight risk. That's the person they're afraid of. Now, his name is Harrison Floyd. You can donate to his legal defense fund if you go to Give, Send, Go and type in his name. And I think it's something everybody who's able to should do. And I'll tell you why. Mr. Floyd had a bail hearing. And Fannie Willis had nothing to do with this part. He had a bail hearing. He was denied. He told the judge he couldn't afford his own attorney. And the man is struggling. The man is struggling. And he remains now behind bars. Behind bars in one of the most notorious prisons in the world. Or at least in this country. So bad is the Fulton County Jail, that Joe Biden's own Department of Justice is investigating it. At least three people have died there in the past year. It is, for all intents and purposes, ladies and gentlemen, a hellhole. Now, there's various reasons. Some people say that Mr. Floyd is a flight risk. Some people talk about the fact that he's accused of, accused of, doing battle with a federal agent who was coming to serve him a jury subpoena and that he tried to avoid it. I, I, I don't know the details of that story, to be honest with you, but, you know, how much do I trust what they say? And then there's another theory out there. And that theory is, this is going to be a lesson to black people who want to support Trump, that you're not supposed to do that. And that if you do that, you will be punished for it. And that they're making an example out of Mr. Floyd. Now, I don't know what's true and what's false. And I'm not here to promote conspiracy theories. I can't do that. You could say whatever you want in the comments, and I would love to hear your comments on this story. But what I'm tired of, what I'm exhausted with, is the weaponization of justice in this country. How one group of people can be targeted because of who they support politically, and that's what it feels like to us. And you could say that's not the case, that's not true. Carmine, you don't know what you're talking about. It's not like that, but that's how it feels. And perception is reality. Perception is reality to a lot of people. And I'm sure, I'm certain, a lot of you watching this feel that way right now. It's a shame to see what's happening to Mr. Floyd. Again, let me know what you think about this in the comments, folks. And again, please remember to like, share, and subscribe because that really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.